Hey everybody, it's me Joe and I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you with the help of a special guest, I'm going to teach you some very common English expressions. All right. Some of these are kind of like idioms. Some are a little like phrasal verbs, but they're just common expressions and we're going to do it in the form of a game. M me and my special guest. <laughs> All right. Also, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Joe. I teach English to foreign students at a university in Canada. And I think it would be a fantastic idea if you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button down below. When I upload a new video, you will be notified and you can come and watch it. Okay? All right, everybody. Now I'm going to go to another room where I can film the game with my special guest. Watch this. All right, everybody. So here's my special guest. I think you probably uh, guessed who it was going to be. It's my wife, Gail. Hey, everyone. And what we're going to do is we're going to play a little game called Buzzword. I love this game. <laughs> Gail loves this game. <laughs> What we do is we give a little hint and then we give a uh, part of a word. It's a compound word, for example. Let me give you an example. So imagine the buzzword is happy. So happy goes with something else, either before it or after it. And then I give a clue. And this is the best known song in the world. What do you think, Gail? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right. So that's how it works. So we're going to get play this game, give hints, and teach you very common English expressions. All right? Okay. So I'm going to start first. I've got another one here. Oh, this one. Maybe everybody knows this. I don't know if it's international or not. Okay? Um, this is another way to say season's greetings. And happy is part of the answer. Happy is part of the answer. Happy Christmas? No. Happy... Happy holidays. Yes. Ha happy holidays. That's a common way. So you can say, when you're saying uh, Merry Christmas to someone in December in North America, uh, we say Merry Christmas, or sometimes you say Season's Greetings, or sometimes you say, happy holidays. All right? British people say, happy Christmas. British people say, happy Christmas. <laughs> All right. So now Gail's going to do one. Okay. Are you ready? I'm very ready. Okay. The buzzword, which means the key word <laughs> in the answer, is fire. Fire. Okay. This is a rescue hero. Uh, okay. This is a person... A person mm -hmm. who um, protects people and saves people. Um, I think I got it. I think I got it. Is it a firefighter? Yes. Right. A firefighter. Another word for a, we used to say fireman, but it can be men or women now. So we say firefighter. Yeah. All right. Do you have another one? I do. It's also with fire. Fire. Okay. Okay, so the first one was a rescue hero, um, and that's a firefighter. And what do uh, firefighters fight? Fires? Yes. Okay, now the word that goes before that is a place where there is a lot of trees and often fires. Okay, a wildfire. Okay. And there's actually two words. It could be wildfire or... A forest fire. Yes. Forest fire. A forest on fire, trees burning, wildfire in nature, burning out of control. All right. Very good. You got it. Okay. <clears throat> Mine, the buzzword is star. So this word has something with star in it. You ready? Okay. 
a five-pointed marine creature. Five pointed, okay, and marine means like ocean, ocean, or underwater, sea, and a creature. Five points. Starfish. A starfish, yeah. So a starfish. See them on the bottom of the sea, bottom of the ocean. All right. Uh, let me think another one. Okay, this is one I think you'll get. All right. It's kind of a nickname for. Another name for the American flag. The Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner is correct. And another one we the got here. The Stars and Stripes. Stars and Stripes. So yes. those are all nicknames because that's what's on the flag. Stripes and 50 stars up in the corner. All right. Got it. You got another one? Uh, let's see. I've got one with Get. Get, get okay. is the buzzword. Um, if you perhaps make a call, write a letter, send an email, uh, send a text, send a instant message to someone, you, and it's three words. Is it maybe get in touch? Yes. Get in touch. That means to contact somebody. Yeah. I'm going to get in touch with my brother. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, you got another one with get? I do. Let me see. Okay. This one is... There's a few here. Okay. If you... It's a longer one. One, two, three, four, five, six words. Six words. Okay. It starts with get. Get. Um, if you achieve uh, a good position or a good or a favorable position um, and kind of the beginning of something. Like you might be starting at the bottom in a company. Let's say if you're an employee, but at the very beginning, you just. I think I got it. Start low and then you might move up. Is it uh, get off on the right foot? Oh, that's not specifically the answer, but that is also similar I mean, idea. You have you a very good right beginning. Foot. Yes. Hmm. And you... I need some more hints. What's the second you, word? Uh, the third word is a body part. Get. And when you're walking, you use these. Oh, get your foot in the door? Yes. Get your foot in the door is to mean maybe make a connection and you're starting at a company. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of get your foot in the door so that, you know, if you imagine a door and, okay, that's not a very good door, but you get your foot in and then the door can't close they can't and close. keep you out. They can't shut you out. Okay. That's great. All right. Give me another one. All right. This one. All right. This is a common expression and the buzzword is will. Part of it is will. There's seven words. Okay. Okay, and will is in the middle. If you are determined enough, then you can make something happen. Okay. And it's a long one. It's a long one, and the first word is where. Where, where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yes, that's a common expression. It means... If you have enough determination, you can make it happen, right? Yeah. Uh, there we go. All right. Do you have another one, Gail? If, uh, the buzzword is ball. Ball. Okay. Ball is in the answer. And this is a three-word expression that means you enjoy yourself a lot. Uh, have a ball or having a ball? Yeah. Have a ball. Have a ball. Right. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Okay. Here's one. This is the end of, this is the end of an expression. I'll give you the start of the expression and the end of it is two words with lose in it. You know it. Use it or lose it. Use it or lose it. And that's, that means if you don't keep using whatever talent you have, it's going to go away. And that's a perfect 
a perfect expression for English. You have to keep practicing. You have to keep reading. Talk to your speaking partners. Yeah, use it or lose it, right? So you guys are practicing hard. You don't want to lose your English ability, so you have to keep going. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay, everybody. So there's there's enough words in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the whiteboard okay. <laughs> and ask you some questions and see if you can remember these buzzwords or these expressions that we talked about in this section. All right? Sounds good. All right. See okay, you. Bye. Okay, so here are all the words that Gail and I mentioned during the last section. I'm going to give you a few more clues, see if you can guess them. All right, first, this is a very famous song that's played on a special day. Happy birthday, right? Okay, uh, here are three, uh, what do we got? Three ways that people say hello to each other around in December in North America. Those three ways are season's greetings, happy holidays, and happy Christmas. Actually, happy Christmas is a greeting in England more. We say Merry Christmas. Okay? All right. Uh, if you want to contact somebody, another way to say that is... Get in touch. Right. Okay. Uh, what's another expression for uh, when you have a really good time? That would be have a ball. Right. Okay. Next one. This is a job, a very important job. Very brave people do this job. And that is firefighter. Okay. Great. All right, and here are two things that firefighters fight and try to put out. They could be forest fire and wildfire, okay? Uh, here's an expression that means you have to keep uh, utilizing your skills to keep them sharp. And that expression is use it or lose it. Right? Next one. What are two expressions for the flag of the United States? They are the Stars and Stripes and the Star Spangled Banner. Okay? All right, we're almost finished. Uh, now, there's two expressions when it start when you are, you have a very good beginning. Maybe at a company or in a relationship. Okay. You can get off on the right foot or get your foot in the door. So that means a really good start, a connection. All right. And the last one is if you are very determined, then you can do incredible things. And that expression is where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, and I forgot there's one more. I almost missed it. This is something that lives in the ocean. A starfish. All right, you got them all. All right, everybody. That's the whole lesson. I hope you got them all right. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen here, or if you just want to say that I look really good in this nice shirt, <laughs> Write a message down below in the comments and I'll write back to you. All right. And also, don't forget, I always put links in the notes underneath the video for more learning opportunities. I hope you check those out. And until next time, see ya.